It's time for a special edition of Three Stock Lunch. Sunday was the 85th anniversary of The Wizard of Oz's theatrical release, so today we're commemorating some of the iconic characters. Here with our trades is Michael Landsberg, the CIO at Landsberg. Bennett. Do you want to pick a character, Michael, for this? I mean, you know, there's the, who's who's available? The, not the lion? No. The tin? No. I have, the tin man? I, I could be, you know, as long as I'm not the little witch. That's the shoe is a bad, bad character. <laughs> yeah, I see. Maybe you're Dorothy. Okay. We asked you to choose a stock that you would buy with your brain. Uh, and this one, you went with Philip Morris, whose shares are up nearly 30%. 30% this year. Yeah, this is not, I don't think this is the heart stock. Uh, uh, what are your thoughts here? I think the idea with the brain is it's a really solid company in an industry that nobody really likes, and most people know it's not good for you. I think they've done a great job of pivoting away from the traditional Marlboro tobacco uh, with ICOS, which is the smoke, you know, the smokeless tobacco, and then Zin, which is the nicotine gum that uh, unfortunately a lot of teenagers and college kids like. So I think it's a good business. Again, taking away the emotions from it, if you just look at the fundamentals, um, they're doing well, and it's probably going to continue. All right, let's look for a stock uh, that you can buy with your heart, a little amour in there. You went with Planet Fitness, stock up more than 30% over the past three months. Why do you love this one? I did this one more for your, your heart. You need to be alive longer. <laughs> and obviously, the, we have an obesity endemic, endemic in, the, in the United States. Um, we owned it before. Um, obviously, COVID was a reason to stop owning it. And I think they've kind of gotten their mind right a little bit about some of the social issues that they've got going on. Stock has done well. Um, they have 18 million members. Um, that means there's about 300 million that aren't members. And it's 15 bucks. They just raised the price. Um, they've got great margins. We think it continues to go higher as people need to continue to stay healthy. Makes right. sense. Yeah, we just heard an analyst upgrade and positive on yeah, it as right. well. It was last hour. Right? And finally, we're looking for a stock that takes courage to own. There's always a lot you could pick here. Ah, you've chosen CrowdStrike, which is up 80% over the past year, but still down 30% since the beginning of July, as we wonder about more fallout from their massive outage. And why this one? I mean, you hit it right on the head. I mean, the masses of outage in July, potential lawsuits. Um, we have to remember that the, the fallout wasn't because the product was bad. It was because the update was bad. So the business is fundamentally very, very strong. I mean, I think Stephanie Link said it in the last segment as well. Chief technology officers are spending money on two things, AI and cybersecurity. CrowdStrike still has best in breed cybersecurity products. They're just having a little bit of a hiccup here. I think it's going to last a quarter or two. I think uh, sales may be down a touch, but longer term, it's a great story. Cybersecurity is not going away. All right, Michael, thank you very much. Michael Landsberg uh, with Landsberg Bennett, Private Wealth uh, Management. He's the CIO there.